Welcome to Grab and Go Info. Today I will talk about how to use Local Outlier Factor for Anomaly Detection. Local Outlier Factor is an unsupervised model for outlier detection. It compares the local density of each data point with its neighbors. The goal is to identify the data points with a lower density as outliers. In this tutorial, we will talk about what's the difference between novelty detection and outlier detection, when to use novelty detection versus outlier detection, how to use local outlier factor for novelty detection, how to use local outlier factor for anomaly detection. Let's get started. The first step is to import libraries. We need to import make classification from Sklern to create the modeling dataset. Import pandas and numpy for data processing. Counter will help us count the number of records. Matplotlib is for visualization. We also need the train test split to create a training and validation dataset. Local outlier factor is for modeling. And classification report is for model performance evaluation. Using make classification from the Sklern library. We created two classes. The ratio between the majority class and the minority class is 0.995 to 0.005. Two informative features were made as predictors. We did not include any redundant or repeated features in this dataset. The output shows that we have about 1% of the data in the minority class and 99% in the majority class. The third step is to do a train test split for the imbalanced data. In this step, we split the dataset into 80% training data and 20% validation data. Random state ensures that we have the same train test split every time. The seed number for random state does not have to be 42, and it can be any number. The train test split gives us 80,000 records for the training dataset and 20,000 for the validation dataset. Thus, we have 79,183 data points from the majority class and 817 from the minority class in the training dataset. In step 4, we will talk about the differences between anomaly detection and novelty detection. The local outlier factor algorithm can be used for anomaly detection and novelty detection. The difference between anomaly detection and novelty detection lies in the training dataset. Anomaly detection includes outliers in the training dataset. The algorithm fits the areas with high-density data and ignores the outliers and anomalies. Novelty detection only includes the normal data points when training the model. Then the model will take a new dataset with outliers for prediction. The outliers in novelty detection are also called novelties. When to use novelty detection versus outlier detection. That depends on what data is available. If we have the dataset with the outlier labels, we can use either of them. Otherwise, we can only use outlier detection because we cannot get the training dataset with only the normal data. Python's Sklern library has the implementation for local outlier factor. To use novelty detection, we need to set the hyperparameter novelty as true. Fit predict fit is not available because the algorithm fits and predicts on different datasets. We need to fit the training dataset with all normal data and predict the testing dataset that includes outliers. We can see that the local outlier factor novelty detection captured 2% of the outliers. Local outlier factor for outlier detection train and predict on the same dataset. So if we would like to compare the model performance between novelty detection and outlier detection, we need to fit and predict on the testing dataset. We also need to set novelty to false to enable the outlier detection algorithm. We can see that the local outlier factor anomaly detection captured 3% of the outliers, which is slightly better than the novelty detection result. Step 7 plots the data points and check the differences between actual, novelty detection, and outlier detection. We can see that in this example, the outlier detection identified more outliers than the novelty detection. This tutorial demonstrated how to use local outlier factor for outlier and novelty detection. Using the Sklern library in Python, we covered what's the difference between novelty detection and outlier detection, when to use novelty detection versus outlier detection, how to use local outlier factor for novelty detection, how to use local outlier factor for anomaly or outlier detection. If you found the information in this tutorial helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I publish tutorials on machine learning 
deep learning, and natural language processing every week. If you prefer the written version of the tutorial, please go to grabandgoinfo.com. I will put the link in the video description. This is the blog post for this tutorial. It has all the code and explanations in the video. To learn about detecting anomalies using a supervised model, please refer to my videos on Sample Oversampling and Undersampling for Imbalanced Classification using Python and Neural Network Model Balanced Weight for Imbalanced Classification in Keras. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.